Welcome back guys. So here we are, a new film chat. It's been a while. I can't remember the last time I've done one of these. It was quite a while ago. But I've been watching quite a lot of Blu-ray, so I thought, you know what, now's the time to talk about them. So over the last few months I've picked up a few different films and TV shows. And I've got through most of them, I've still got a couple to watch. So I will make another video when I've done that. But we'll start with the main ones first of all. The first one I bought this ages ago. And it is Captain America the Winter Soldier, the Steelbook. Which is absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool. I absolutely love this film. It's absolutely awesome. I really like the first Captain America. And for me personally, the first Avenger is a better film. Depends on what type of film you like. I prefer Nazis, so that one was better for me. But Winter Soldier is such a rock-solid, well-made film. Absolutely brilliant from beginning to end. Really good espionage thriller. Some absolutely amazing action. The, the fight sequences are just unreal. And the camera work is so good the way they do it. But yeah, I really like it. I thought the Winter Soldier was a brilliant villain. Just all of the characters are really rock solid. Really great performances. There's a fantastic fight on the boat at the beginning with Captain America. I really like watching that a lot. But yeah, I've watched it a few times now. Um, quality movie. Saw it at the cinema. Watched it on Blu-ray a few times. Fantastic. I really like the Marvel films. I've been quite impressed so far. There hasn't been a Marvel film that... Other than four, really. That's probably the only one I'm not, ha not impressed with. I don't... I don't know, I've tried watching both of those and they're kind of boring. <laughs> they just don't do it for me at all. But yeah, Captain America Winter Soldier is fantastic. The next one I got was one I saw at the cinema early in, earlier in the year. I had to pick it up on Blu-ray it's absolutely brilliant. And it's Tom Cruise's Edge of Tomorrow, or Live, Die, Repeat. I hate the way they've done that, but it's Edge of Tomorrow is the name of the film. This is awesome. I highly recommend watching this. As I say, I saw it at the cinema first, really impressed. Didn't know really what to expect, the trailers didn't tell you all that much and didn't make it look that good, but when you watch the actual film, so much better. Basically he plays like a press officer in the future, there's a war with aliens. He's never seen frontline action himself and he ends up getting put on the front line and he, you know, he's absolutely bricking it, he doesn't want to do that, he's trying to get out of it the best he can. Unfortunately he gets put on the front line, he goes out the front line and gets killed straight away. But when he gets killed, I think it's the Omega, if I remember rightly, he, gets this, he kills his Omega and it puts all this stuff on him and it, it trips the timeline because of this. They explain it better in the film than I will. <laughs> so basically, his day resets Groundhog style constantly. Uh, as soon as he dies, it resets every time. And the film is about him trying to work out what's happening. He gets involved with Emily Blunt, who plays the full metal bitch, who's absolutely fantastic in this film, really good. Turns out that she also, spoilers, went through the same thing as well. Uh, she's now free of it and she can actually die. And it's about how they're going to take the aliens down. It's absolutely brilliant. It's, it's not just a sci-fi groundhog day. It's a lot more than that when you watch it. It's really, really good. Uh, the action's fantastic. Tom Cruise, as always, is top-notch because he just is. He's brilliant. Emily Blunt's really, really good in this film. Um, fantastic title. Highly recommend watching it if you haven't given it a shot because trust me, it's worth it. Just ignore the trailers and watch the film. It's so good. Next one up. Right, basically I saw my Blu-ray player a while ago and it was region free for DVDs. I have mentioned this in the previous video and the idea was I wanted to make some space for my entertainment unit because I just haven't got room anymore for that Blu-ray player and it wasn't getting used anyway to be honest because I've got a PlayStation anyway. So what is, I went through all my DVDs, pulled all my region 1 DVDs out and a few region 2s that I didn't want anymore, put them all on eBay to sell and what I did I went back and bought any region 1s that I actually wanted to keep on region 2. So. First thing I had to buy back was this, the Alias Collection, all five seasons DVD. Unfortunately, still haven't put it on Blu-ray yet, which is a real pain in the ass. but there you go. Uh, this is the reason I haven't made this video for a few months, because I've been watching this all the way through. I'm on season five, and I've got four episodes to go, so I'll watch those this week, and that'll be done then. Yeah, what can I say, man? Alias, still the greatest TV show that's ever been created. I absolutely adore this. It's just amazing. From beginning to end, it just grips you. The characters, you know, Sydney Bristow is just so well done. Just every single character in this program is really well acted, well written. And the whole espionage side of it, the, the Rambaldi mystery, just everything. If you've never seen Alias, I've said it so many times on my channel, but if you've never seen Alias, please watch it. Because honestly, it's one of the best shows I've ever seen. It's so well made. And it's J.J. Abrams as well, which is definitely a stamp of quality. If you like spy thrillers, definitely watch this. And as I say, it's got like that mysterious side as well. It's got this figure called Milo Rambaldi, who's, I think he was like 16th century, if I remember rightly, and 16th century prophet. And I'm not going to say what he foresaw, because it'll spoil the show completely, but highly recommend watching that. 
So the next one, I had to get this because I, <laughs> I had the, yeah, the first three films on DVD, the fourth one on blue, and I hadn't got the fifth one because I hadn't got into buying it. But it is the Die Hard collection, and this one is called the Legacy Collection. So you get all five movies on this. Now I've watched them all, and obviously number one's still the best one. The problem I've got number one, I can't, I don't know what version it is. Does it say what version it is? No, it doesn't say what cut it is. But it's the cut that I hate, the one where they've left all the really bad scenes in it. There's a scene where the, the, uh, the SWAT team are going to attack the Nakasomi building. And this one minor scene for a matter of seconds, you see one of the, uh, one of the SWAT guys walking through a load of bramble bushes and catches his finger and he goes, ouch. And it's just really bad. It's like a naked gun movie and it spoiled the film for me. And I was so glad they took that out in the original release because it ruins it completely. So that's a kind of a pain in the ass that that's on there because I hate that version. Uh, two really good films, still really like that. Number three is fantastic, I love that film. Number four, for me, was one of the better later films. It's actually a really good film. It's not a patch on the first three, but it's still a really, really solid film with some great action. Number five. Number five is not a die-hard film. I think most people would agree. It's essentially just an action film starring Bruce Willis playing John McClane. It's not a die-hard film by any means whatsoever. But... Just as an action film, it's alright, it's watchable, it's visually nice, but it's not a Die Hard film. It really isn't. <laughs> Die Hard, the original, is still the best film. So the next one I picked this up in Asda one day, I was doing my shopping, I just saw it going for a fiver. So Mark Wahlberg's Contraband, which I watched a long time ago when it first came out. So I thought, well, I'll give it a shot, I haven't watched it for a while. Basically, Mark Wahlberg plays an ex-smuggler who gets drawn back in for one last job when his brother-in-law messes up a job and owes the local thug. Uh, money for chucking the contraband over the over the side of the boat and it's really good it basically has to go over to this foreign country smuggle some shit back and it's a really really cool film and um what's his name Ibiza? um you know, Giovanni Giovanni Ibiza plays the villain he's absolutely awesome in this still weird to watch him because I remember him from Friends and it's kind of strange watching him do a role like this but he's really evil in this and Mark Wahlberg's Mark Wahlberg he's just top notch quality all the way through kick some ass yeah, really good, really solid film, well worth watching that one. And the last one is an absolute classic, I had to get this, it is Terminator 2, the Skynet edition, which I watched yesterday. Really nice Blu-ray, uh, really nice transfer, it looks beautiful. The only problem I've got, like most modern Blu-rays of old films, is, I say old, they're so weird, they're in the 90s, but hey. Uh, but yeah, the problem I have is that all the CG effects look crap. I mean, it's weird on this one, because some of the effects with the T-1000, like when they're punching through the head, still looks decent. But for the most part, you can see it's a computer-generated image. It looks completely fake. I had this with Independence Day. That looks weird. It looks like you can literally see the actors are, um, are separated from the background. It just looks crap. So, yeah, the, the other annoying thing was right at the beginning of the film, when they break Sarah Connor out of the Mental Institute, they're driving down the street in a car, and it's blatantly one of those where they're sitting in a lot in a car and they've, they've superimposed the background afterwards. It looks chronic. <laughs> so I, don't know, I assume that if you watch it on a DVD or a VHS, which I have got it on VHS, I assume it's going to be better. And because of the resolution, you won't see the issues as much. But the Blu-ray, it's a real shame because other than that, the actual film looks fantastic. The skin tones and look absolutely gorgeous. And T2, I mean, there's not much I can say. It's just an absolute classic movie. We all know it. And if you've never seen T2, you really should. Just go and watch the first two Terminators because they are absolutely brilliant. Don't watch Terminator 3 because it's a big steaming pile of shit and it never exists as far as I'm concerned. That film never got made. Do watch Salvation though because Salvation is actually a really good film. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> anyway guys, so that's it. That's what I've been watching, watching recently. I've got a few more to say I'm watching. I need to watch those over the next few weeks. And I've also got, bought another one today which I've got to watch. So I'll be talking about that as well. So there will be another film chat hopefully before Christmas if I'm lucky. But there you go guys, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you, what you thought of these films and TV shows down below. If you've not seen any of them, go and check them out because they're absolutely awesome. And yeah, there you go. Thanks for guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.